Hey guys, Tony DeNaro here, and I regularly recommend to my viewers to avoid using brokers like Robinhood and Webull, which use payment for order flow. And I often suggest to them to use a better broker that allows directed trade, such as Fidelity. For those of you who aren't familiar with why this is important, I'm going to cover that really briefly, and then I'm going to show you in the video how to set up directed trade in your Fidelity account. I know you're probably asking, why do we want to avoid Robinhood? Why do we want to avoid Webull? Why do we want to avoid payment for order flow? Let's talk about it. Brokers that provide PFOF, payment for order flow, do offer commission-free trading. That is an advantage. But when something is free, guess what? You are the product, your data is the product. And there are some sneaky ways that that data can be used against you. Many people are simply unaware that when they're using an app like Robinhood or Webull, their orders are going off the lit exchange, off of the NASDAQ, off of NYSE, directly to Citadel Connect where the order is transacted. There's a reason that Citadel Connect is paying for that data. Have you ever stopped to think about that? Not only does this give them data about what is going on in the market, there's always the very slight but unproven risk they could be using that data against you to front run orders. Moreover, Citadel Connect's parent company is one of the most infamous shorting hedge funds there is out there. Do you want to be trading with a company that could take that data use it and short the stock that you're trying to buy? Do you want to support a company that's getting all of your data and then quite possibly on the other side, shorting the company that you own or that you're buying? Even if all of that doesn't worry you, companies like Robinhood, Webull, and a host of others were some of the first ones to turn off the buy button in January of 2021 when there was a period of high volatility with a lot of stocks like GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, and quite a few others. Why did they turn off the buy button? Because they did not have the liquidity required to meet the margin call requirements from the DTCC. That also should be concerning to you as a customer. Fidelity, for one, did not have liquidity problems during that period, and they did not turn off the buy button. Exchanges like Citadel Connect are not the same as NASDAQ and NYSE. They commonly get lumped in with what we call dark pools, even though technically they're not a dark pool, they're a non-ATS semantics at this point. They are not the lit exchange. They're not NASDAQ. They're not NYSE. Why is that important? Price discovery of a stock only happens on the lit exchanges. It only happens on NYSE and NASDAQ. If you expect that when you make a trade, if you're going to buy, that's going to apply some upward pressure to a stock, or when you sell, that's going to apply some downward pressure to a stock. If you're using a payment for order flow broker, they send it to a dark pool to Citadel Connect. Price discovery is not happening on those trades. The dark pool gets their price from the lit exchange. As a retail trader, you want your orders going to the lit exchange. How do you do that? You direct your trades to a lit exchange. I'm going to show you how to do that with Fidelity. I'm going to also include a Reddit post that walks you through it in a text format in case maybe this video is too small for you to see on your phone. So be sure and check that out if you're having any problems watching this video or seeing what I'm doing. And if you do have any questions, I'm happy to help you. Just drop a comment below and let me know what I can help you with. One important thing to talk about before we get into the very simple way to set up your settings on Fidelity is I see a lot of YouTubers and people on Reddit saying switch to Fidelity, but they don't tell you that you have to do this extra step in the setting. Now, by default, the settings in Fidelity are set to auto, A-U-T-O. That means Fidelity can decide where to send your order. And guess what? They will send it to Citadel Connect off exchange if you don't change your settings to direct the trade. Why do they do that? Because dark pools offer financial incentives even to a company like Fidelity through rebates for liquidity and volume. You do have to have access to a desktop and you download the Fidelity Active Trader Pro software once you have your Fidelity account set up. The settings button up here in the top right, go to directed trade and here in the default route, it will be set to auto when you first open it up. You'll want to either set it to ARCX, XNMS, NASDAQ, or XNYS, New York Stock Exchange. 
Now, from what I've read, because I personally, I only do NYSE, but I've been told that NYSE, if you select this one, that your order size does need to be a hundred shares or more. So if you are trading under a hundred shares, you'll want to set it to ArcX or to XNMS. Once you make that change, just hit apply and you are done. It really is that simple. I encourage each and every one of you that are using a payment for order flow broker to switch to Fidelity or another large company that offers you the ability to do directed trade. As a retail investor, we need to band together and make sure that we avoid these payment for order flow brokers. Again, I am Tony DeNaro. I'm here live streaming every day during market hours. Make sure and join me. Don't forget to buy and hold that subscribe button and I will see you on the next video.